Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I've got a bunch of stuff on my desk, and you can see there's a, maybe a certain color theme. I started a new art journal uh, last week, and this one of these pages, let's see, this was floating around on the table, and I said, oh, that's not done. Hopefully, you will see it soon. This is another one of the journals that has the safety pin binding. And these are some safety pins that I rusted out in the backyard. Uh, I made one of these journals before. You, it was Poetic Rust, and my sweet friend Mary was sharing a recipe for rusting safety pins. And I said, oh, thank you for that, because I had been searching for a way to get the safety pins to be rusty without having to shop for them. And uh, I did do quite a few of those. It's, it, there are several different recipes online. It looks like the most current thing is um, a mixture of vinegar and uh, peroxide and salt. Uh, but there were so many others out there, like some had Clorox and uh, some of them sounded really harsh and like they took a long time. And when Mary shared what she did to rust hers, I thought, okay, that sounds a whole lot safer. So I, I just love this. You can probably tell this one has more signatures and it has more safety pins. And it took me a while to get these in here and you have to be really careful. I mean, I haven't done it yet with a rusty safety pin, but more than once in the past with just regular pins, I have stuck my cuticle like pushing one way and you got your finger, you know, it's that is not a pleasant experience. So do be careful if you use these. You know, it's like cutting vegetables in the kitchen. Your fingers have to stay away from that rusty tip that's coming through the fabric because sometimes you have to push really hard to get it to go through. I'm thinking ahead, I'm thinking ahead to spring and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I wanted to start an art journal that will be full of spring colors by the time spring gets here. This one does have a spring sort of cottage garden palette. You might remember the day that I was in the Dollar Tree shopping for things and I picked up a couple of butterflies and this journal was the reason for the ones I picked out. I have done a little bit in here. Uh, there's a little bit of, of color starting to be put onto the pages. All of these with the shimmery paint, which is right here, that's from Michaels, and it's just the Artist Loft. It was inexpensive. Artist Loft, I should say. It was inexpensive. Now, her eyes are glittery, and I don't like that. It makes her look uh, kind of like maybe she's uh, possessed or something. So I'm going to go back with some really dark. In fact, you know how I am if I see something that would be too big around for her eyes. I started to say, maybe I can just touch her eyes with this ink. I'm planning to go back with some black paint and it, it, she, she needs more everywhere. Just, just, that's not finished. Let me just say that. This is the front of a really adorable vintage dress that was in my shop when I had vintage clothing and altered clothing and things that were hanging out in the caboose. And I just loved this. If I could have worn this, I would have. But it seems like in these vintage dresses, the waist is just almost non-existent. You have to be really skinny, which I used to be. Oh, and sometimes I see pictures of myself and I think, why? I mean, where does that go? Because I think I'm not, I mean, I'm not heavy now, but I'm not 118 pounds either. So this dress had some tears. It was really fragile. It wasn't something I could wear. So I cut this front part out with the buttons and I use different parts of the fabric for other projects, but I just love this in here. And of course that will get added to. So let's see, just moving on through here. I don't know, that might've been protecting a little spot I was working on from getting wet with other paint and then and there's a lot more to do here as you can see so the inside is this really fun 
kind of soft polka dot fabric. These polka dots are raised. Polka dots. I wonder where that word came from. Or those two words put together like that. So I'm going to just play a little bit this morning. Some more butterflies. Let's just play a little bit and maybe do some arting. Oh, and this is a piece of, it's like a felted something that I found at the scrap exchange and the colors are perfect for this. So I'm probably going to cut pieces off to go in here somehow. I mean, I already see an idea for something that would be really fun. But let's get back to this. You can see there's a rusty, rusty paper clip right away. Now, I might want to use, oh, really that one's brighter shabby shutters I love that maybe I had the lids mixed up no that's that yeah and that's that I don't know how I feel about that that green oh it's kind of pretty let me get my water back up here I moved it to the floor yesterday when I was putting packs together and thank you so much for hanging out I'm gonna be back at it today I just wanted to take a little time to um, to do some art journaling this morning and kind of get my thoughts together about everything I have a lot of packaging to do today I was checking orders this morning to make sure that everything I've sent out is in transit uh, of course, the 11th was a holiday, and on the 10th, when I went to the post office, they were closed, so I dropped everything in the chute uh, that, you know, takes it down into one of their bins. So I think it looked like it was just sitting for um, the whole next day, but I do notice this morning that everything, and yesterday, I checked yesterday, there were a couple of things yesterday that still were not showing up, but everything looks like it's in transit today that was sent out prior to yesterday and then today I'm going to start packaging all of these orders from the last couple of days and thank you so much just for the support for everything I appreciate it so very much and I do have just a lot more to list so I like to just play and you know Think about things, try to figure out what I want to put where. That's pretty. I like that piece of paper. glue that under there and then we would have the butterflies underneath glue is another thing that I have got to get I mean I'm just I'm out of just about everything I bought a new thing of tacky glue and I can't find it I don't know where in the world I put it I'm sure it'll show up at some point so let's put that in there and hope that it holds. I think it will. I'll try to. I'll try to remember that that's in the process of gluing right now. We'll be adding more here. Maybe quotations or text or you know something that, just something pretty. Thoughtfulness is always remembered. I don't necessarily want to keep that quote. I like it, but. And I'm not sure how much cutting I'm going to do. 
on this. I wonder if that would go. Ooh, I like that over there. It's got a little curvy edge there, scalloped. this is really beautiful. I don't know if some of you remember when I found a partially completed art journal at the Scrap Exchange. And I bought it. I tore it down. I've used some of the plain paper that was in it. Uh, I do love this image of the lady. And I think I'm going to just cut out part of this. And use it in here. We'll start building building a really layered page. Now, let's see, what did I do with If you just play around, you never know what you might do that seems really cool. And you think, oh, I like that. I would have not thought that would have been so great. I love this right here. Well, I cut the scallops out, but they're going to hide behind there, actually. Um, oh, and I have this trim. Isn't this gorgeous? It's a velvet. It's, it's gathered. I think it came from some sort of garment or, or drapery or something. I know I want to put some of this throughout this book as tabs. It's a really rich color. And... Um, It'll be nice with the spring, springtime. It'll kind of uh, contrast with the, uh, the lighter colors of the flower and stuff. And then we have all sorts of little petals. I'll just keep adding to this when I see purple or this pretty, um, this is called Seaside and this is Orchid. And then I had a green, uh, not a green, but a blue that I'll be pulling in and then just kind of staying with those palettes overall. Let me move that out a little bit. That It was tilted and that was really bothering me. One of the things I like to do sometimes, and let's go ahead, let me get my iPad. I love to find really inspiring quotations that I can write on a page or two. Ooh, here's a pretty one. Okay, I found a quotation and let's get um, some sort of, maybe I can use my Sharpie pen. Let's see, that's gonna be okay. I love this. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars.
for stars. Then that sometimes just words are inspiring. And I love that we have the word stars and rainbows. That, that could inspire you to make some um, designs on a page, you know, that you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. And I love to go back and see writing on my pages that I've done. Hopefully this glue will hold. I think it will. I have got to get out and get the kind of glue that, like I'm out of PVA glue. I am out of, um, Jay had sent me some wonderful glue. I can't remember the name of it. Was it Eileen's? I don't remember. It was a, um, ah, there was a fabric glue and then another, Fabri-Tac and then another one maybe. Oh, I can't, don't, just strike all of that. Jay had sent me some wonderful adhesives that I have enjoyed very much and I used all of. I'm out of all of my tacky glue. I'm getting low on Mod Podge. So I just, I need to remember to buy it when I'm out. That's one of the things that feels like such a staple and you always, or like you might have a lot, so you think I'm never gonna run out, I'm never gonna run out. And then all of a sudden you don't have any because you don't buy it when you're out. You think, oh, I've got glue. Well, I do. That's the kind of thing I do. Let's put this down. And probably gonna, let's see, where do I want that? Well, I gotta remember that this is gonna close this way. So, it's kinda cool right there at the top all together. I mean, I know it's hard to tell. It might be, I'd like some, to have some unraveling. It might be because it's just a little bit too big. Let's cut a tiny bit off. I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine. I wonder if we want to put the flower right on top of it. Now that that's into place, it's kind of easier to see what's going on. I don't know, I kind of like just that because I like seeing that velvet. And then that leaves us the flower for a different... Now you'll notice this, this one, the other book with the, um, with the, I can't even think this morning, the other book with the safety pin binding, you know, it was looser, so that allowed it to, you know, be more floppy and spread out more. This one still, it lays kind of flat right now. As it gets more full, it won't lay quite as flat. It doesn't spread out as far because it's, you know, more closely bound on the inside. So let's cut a few of the strings. I, sometimes I leave a lot of strings, and then sometimes I kind of I cut them as I go. I have something I want to put on that. Let me get to my butterflies. I might put this on top of this. One of the things that I love, and I probably shouldn't do it, when you put glue on this kind of vellum paper, sometimes it really, really crinkles up, and I like that. I think that's, um, I think it's really neat. So I'm gonna put this on here. Some of you might be saying, oh, don't do that, don't do that. But I want a lot of layers in this book. By springtime, I want this thing to be so filled with colors and layers and just the feeling of spring. This might be called this, the Hope Journal, the Springtime Hope Journal or something like that. That needs to lay down flat. I know this glue probably has a lot of moisture. That's okay, we're just gonna go with it. It's what we've got and I'm not gonna worry about it.
I'm going to put some on the top. And I think I want to let's shake this. This paint has a tendency to get stringy. Let's add some more color underneath that green. You know, we could, um, so I can get really messy. I think everybody knows that. Let's see if that paper, it is starting to crinkle up. I love that. I really do. In fact, I might, I might do something to crinkle up the whole page. And um, so let's do this. I don't want to mess up her face. Not that it's anything spectacular. Let's put this here. And I'm going to stand this right here. And we definitely need to cover up our fabric. But I think I want to, um, let's try some of this, the Distress Paint. I'm going to put a little, a little pile right here. Look at that, that's so funny. It reminds me of Mercury, the way it just sits there together in a, in a blob. And it, like, it all rolls together. This has got just a little bit of um, water in it. I want to see. Ooh, there we go. I have quite enough. Let's get a tiny bit more water. I think I like it better there on the paint. So I'm going to come back with... There's one dot there. I'm going to lighten that up some. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder what would happen if we soak up a lot of it. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's pretty. So it is coming together for sure. And I need more gesso. There, it's just always something. I have a little bit of this Jane Davenport, I think. Does anybody save paper towels and do art with those? I have some that I feel like it would be really cool to use. When you use um, a paint with, with gesso, it kind of makes it translucent a little bit, you know. I don't like to waste anything, and it seems like if you go ahead and use what you have left, it's just really pretty. It, it kind of makes every it ties everything in together in a way. So let's don't waste any of that beautiful gold. It'll, even though it's subtle, it'll show up. Okay. She's standing up off the page a little bit, but that's, that's going to be all right. I'm going to stop for now because I do want to get busy listing again, and I have a lot of packaging to do today. But it's always so good for me to sit down and do something like this. Actually, I wonder if we could get any more. Yeah, look at that. That's the tiniest bit of water. You know what? Let's crinkle this page up. That's the tiniest bit of water with that gold distress paint. And then, of course, some of it had the, um, the gesso mixed in. See how that's curling up? Okay, lay down. It'll be all, it'll make it wrinkly. I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna move this, or maybe I don't, I might be able to just fold that up. We'll give it a chance to dry. And I'm gonna put this on here to maybe keep that laying flat. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more packs. 
and just going to try to fill the shop up. That's my dream. And I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.